بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیر سٹوڈنٹس کو ملا بیٹوریا گوبن کالیج ہاو آر یو آئی تھنک یو آر گیٹنگ آن ویل بائی دی گریس آف دا آل مائٹ دو دا سیچویشن از ویری کریٹیکل ہوریبل اینڈ اپڈیٹنگ آفٹر دین We have to try our level best to be in a very good situation. However, my dear students, because of coronavirus influence, that is COVID-19, nowadays we are out of the classroom activities. But in accordance with the government direction, our college authority, that is our Honorable Principal, Professor Rola Minbuya and Honorable Vice Principal, Professor Dr. Abu Jahur Khan is prompt enough to take initiative for the well-being of the students of Kumila Victoria Government College. Actually, to me, our Principal and Vice Principal knows very well how to suit the action to the world. Not only for the COVID-19, they are always vigilant for the well-being of the students in Kumila Victoria Government College. Those who are the regular students, you observe it very well. My dear students, and for this reason, very promptly they took the initiative how to get the students in touch of lessons of their syllabus. And for this reason, I am very thankful to my college authority, that is both principal and vice principal, sir. And other individuals who are doing very hard job for arranging such type of system. At the very beginning, we started to upload our classes in college website, in the faculty member sites, and after then, Facebook web page for both the students and teachers. Dear students, I am in this class asking for both the class 11 and 12 class students, their students. Now, I will do with you one grammar, grammatical item of English second paper. Their students, in English second paper, there are 12 grammatical items to learn and to be tested and among them one is completing sentence actually like articles appropriate prepositions sentence characters narration transformation pronoun reference modifiers and punctuation marks this is not a such type of item actually it's an item which uh, which express actually a learner learns english language up to which level because in this item you just look at two word completing sentence. Here the base word is sentence and then its modifier is completing. I'm not teaching you modifier, they are completing sentence. The students who want to be perfect or very skilled in learning complete sentence, at first you have to learn what is sentence. How to make a sentence? 
how to dissect a sentence how to after then you will be able to how to complete an incomplete sentence dear students you know sentence is a group of words arranged in such manner by which this systematic arrangement so words will be able to express a complete meaningful expression the students the students who will be able to make a sentence then it will not be possible on the part of this type of students or the language learners to complete an incomplete sentence my dear students and for this reason i am at the very beginning telling you before touching or beginning the option or item of completing completing in complex in complex sentence you have to ask to learn very perfectly skillfully spontaneously <clears throat> what is sentence so one what are the types of sentences you know language is nothing it's knowledge of words and sense of grammar by applying this knowledge of words and sense of grammars if you could learn different types of sentences very effectively then it will be very easier spontaneous and comfortable to make an incomplete sentence complete first of all i like to tell you what are the sentences in english of number 1 assertive interrogative imperative Objective, exclamatory, number six, simple, complex. compound positive comparative superlative active passive direct indirect affirmative and negative these are the sentences in english language and you know it very well if any learners or student want to earn expert expertise in english language they must learn this 17 types of sentences very effectively then a student or learner will be able to express they are emotions aspirations ideas 
both in writing and speaking very effectively and skillfully. The students nowadays are acquiring, obtaining huge number of marks. Most of the students 70%, 80%, 90%. But very few students could construct meaningful sentences. And this is the drawback of our English language, especially in rural areas, those are the weak students could not write very good English only because they couldn't construct meaningful sentences effectively. Now our uh, today's lesson is not making sentence, it is at first uh, just we, we know all the sentences uh, type and now uh, in our exam in complete sentences will be given and we'll complete the incomplete sentences. So my dear students, so I have shown you the 17 types of sentences. You must remember that. All the subjects are important, but English is a prominent one. I am asking for the IHSC students after crossing the bar of HSC. After passing HSC exam, you will be entering to higher education in different disciplines like medical education, engineering education, or any other technical education, general education. But in any sort of education, if you want to, Establish yourself very effectively and comfortably. You must be very effective, vital, expert in English language. Otherwise, higher education will not be able to continue. It will be, your higher education will be like a bird with broken wings. wings. The students. So remember that English language is very vital and effective, essential. Some people say English is the passport to prosperity. So we all are striving our level best to get a prosperous situation. And my dear students, one thing remember, after this COVID-19 situation, well, the, when the world will be very uh, suitable and uh, very stable situation for human being, to survive in the world will be much more tougher. Only the fittest person, very skilled person will be able to survive. Because now we are in a very submerging situation when we will be rise of our COVID-19 situation, everybody will be in a very unrest, especially most of the people who are very uh, in a very poor situation for different types of belongings to live in the world. And the students, as I told you, different types of sentences. Now I am asking, these are the sentences. These different types of sentences as their individual structures. And you have to be able to acquire the structures of the sentences. For example, generally, a sort of sentence. What is the structure of a sort of sentence? Normally, subject plus verb plus object or complement.
सपोज आई एम अ टीचर सेंटेंस सब्जेक्ट बर्ड एंड ऑब्जेक्ट इफ इन द एग्जाम इट इज गिवेन आई एम देन वॉट विल बी आंसर इज इट कॉन्स्टेंट अल एज अ टीचर नो यार द एंसर विल बी वेरिएबल द एंसर may be again i am a teacher i am a student i am an engineer and so on here the answer is a teacher it's a phrase And in the exam, you are asked to complete the incomplete sentences with phrase or clauses. Never answer with a single word. You will find that sometimes an incomplete sentence can be completed with a single word, but it will not be uh, termed as an answer in the prescribed syllabus of HSC. You must always careful about your answer. minimum a phrase or a clause no problem then if i am a teacher is given as given portion in the question and after that if there is any in complete situation that is gap first influence i am a teacher actually the students who are very expert in learning english words and very skill in making sentences applying different grammatical rules he will be able to this one also i am a teacher of english at komila victoria government college your answer will be of english at kumilla victoria government college the students at the very beginning uh, i didn't uh, introduce myself because as the as my lecture will be uploaded in victoria government college so i pace after them some students may not be earlier introduced to me i am mohammed ibrahim khalil assistant professor kumila victoria government colleges government college i teach english both section and i have been serving in this college since 2013 and all of you are welcome in my on my class the students i think you are getting the points what i am telling you they should always never think such manner just to pass the exam or for the bar of hsc these are the model questions which will be uh helpful for me to score 90% marks or 80% marks it should, should not be your target you target should be to learn the language is very skillful by which you can establish yourself in your future career 
as it is a bengali speaking country my dear students uh, some students will tell me saj just you were teaching english in the classroom and we are going through the books there is no situation in our social activities yes it's a very contrary situation if you can keep with the contrary situation you will be a very effective and competent personality in your future life our next interrogative sentence in interrogative sentence uh, generally we will find two types of sentences or oh, one type of sentence Start with auxiliary verb and another types of sentence. For example, another types of sentence with wh word or uh, interrogative pronouns. Have you taken your breakfast if this is given what will your answer have you taken your breakfast some students will tell me sir this is a complete meaningful expression have you taken your breakfast yes my dear students other than you are mature enough you are learning english for 12 years or 11 years or some from some institution it might be 10 years 9 years no problem but it's a language it's not only a subject uh, languages can be learned those who are very interested within six months or more or less have you taken your breakfast you answer will be this morning or yes start the morning or we all the members of your family as i told you earlier in complete sentence the answer is not constant or fixed it is variable but always remember in completing sentence option you must very careful in underlining your answer if you don't underline or if your answers are left without underlining you if you might be sure your answer will be very often crossed and you probably or generally will be credited with zero so be careful in underlining your answer portion some students will tell me sir if i only write the answer portion and another underline uh, this portion no my dear student you have to show a complete meaningful sentence in this option there might be suppose in a there might be three sentences i am not asking you according to me to write all the three sentences you will write only the complete incomplete sentence uh, complete giving uh, your answer only the incomplete sentence the uh, earlier two sentences or later one or two sentences which are completed 
I'm not asking you to write down all the sentences because in the exam hall time is very limited. For this reason, I am asking you, you must write the sentence fully, which is incomplete. Next, come to the point of imperative sentence. The students who are intelligent and all, they will ask me, Sir, sometimes uh, we, we, we find that a single word express a complete meaningful sense or expression. Suppose in the exam hall you are writing. I have told you your exam will be finished. That is your exam time will be over at 9.30. At the time uh, I earlier told you I will utter a single word. That is stop. Only this single word stop express a complete meaningful expression. Some brilliant or uh, literary students, inquisitive students may tell me, sir, as you have told, stop he express a sentence or stands for a sentence. But my dear students, uh, in the uh, incomplete option. Uh, we will not give such type of sentence. <laughs> we will be given such type of sentence, the type of sentences in which we will add minimum of phrase or a clause. If I start an imperative sentence, Stop in detached sentence. What may be the answer? There are a number of answers can be applied here. Stop your writing. Stop playing chess. Stop your gossiping. In this single sentence or individual detached sentence, yeah, I have given three answers. Your writing. Playing chess, curiosity. And all the three answers are correct. But my dear students, in the question paper, you have to be careful about the other sentence which are attached with this portion. And you have to answer, provide your answer in Accordance with the meaning of other sentences, other words will be will not be credited. Your answer will be crossed. So be careful to understand what are the other sentences and what is the meaning. And this is very important to understand. My dear students, I am again and again telling you, I'll I have already told you, I am telling you, I will always tell you. A language is nothing but huge number of words and some grammatical rules. And you have to be always very painstaking in learning new new words and applying grammatical rules. Uh, 
then you will be able to make sentences because without knowing use number of words or minimum mixed acceptable number of words you will not be able to understand what the sentences are given here if you could not understand the other sentences which are attached to this stuff then what will you will it will not be possible to provide a correct answer so remember always remember always be careful sincere honest in learning new new words along with their synonyms antonyms in the option of completing sentence i am giving emphasis on another option synonyms and antonyms always not be attached with the traditional model questions synonyms and uh, antonym options you try your level best to go through different types of reference books if reference books are completed then go to web page you will get huge number of sources to learn synonyms and antonyms after imperative then optative here i am not uh, describing different types of uh, definition of the sentences because as you have uh, already crossed the bar of this uh, ssc examination this is one of the grammatical items of ssc syllabus and for this reason i am not repeating the definition of different types of sentences optative sentence in the sentence we express blessings or expect something hmm from allah like may allah bless you some students will tell me sir may allah bless you it's the complete sentence according to after the examination but uh, why you have given a blank i have given a blank to test you my student as you have learned the sentence level qualification qualification or not may allah bless you so that you can be a scientist yeah i am asking for the students of science group because my dear students once upon a time complete to our was in one type of situation but nowadays you are observing there is a biological war bia for this reason i am expecting blessing from the almighty so that my science group students can be scientists in different levels be for this uh, for um, facing this type of viral problem or biological problem i am expecting some some students from victoria government college oh i will be able to biological engineering genetic engineering in their 
future life and they will be able, able to represent Bangladesh as a prominent scientist all over the world and mankind will be benefit from their service. So, my dear students, those who are very weak, they will not be able to answer the blank person. Those who are the students who have very limited sort of knowledge in sentence learning, they will not go. This is complete. So, it's given wrong sentence. No. My dear students, what type of sentence it is? In past optative, I have included a subordinate clause. In one sense, it's optative. In another sense, it complex sentence. Within a single sentence, I'm showing you two types of sentence. So, you learn the sentences in such different level of physics so that you can be able to answer this option or item very skillfully and then you will find that you are very comfortable situations both in writing, speaking or in your uh, working situation. I always tell my students, my dear students, in our country, the problem is our students are obtaining 80% marks or 90% marks, but they fail to uphold their quality up to their marks. That is, in the working field or higher education, they face many problems only because of English situation. They couldn't write after achieving or obtaining 80% marks or 90% marks. Some students you will find in your society, uh, in your knowing area, that they are not able to, to uh, read the books or go through the books with proper understanding. The reason I'm telling you English books in engineering, in medical science, or uh, in general education. And in working field, they couldn't communicate with their uh, official colleagues very spontaneously or effectively. And then it happens that their achievement or their fulfillment of job remain unfulfilled. In exclamatory sentence, What is the structure? Suppose how beautiful the scenery Some students will ask me, sir, how beautiful the scenery is a complete sentence. But you have created such situation where we are in puzzle. What will be the answer in the gap? How beautiful the scenery of Kumila Government 
colors is how beautiful the scenery of Cox's Bazaar is how beautiful the scenery of Inani Sea Beach is how beautiful the scenery of Silex Tea Garden is so there might be different types of answer here and I am again again telling you that you have to think over what should be the answer here you have to uh, think over the other sentences which are given with this incomplete sentence uh, along with other complete sentence uh, what will be the effective, meaningful, acceptable answer is and for this you have to understand the meaning of the sentences today I have uh, discussed with you five types of sentences in my next class I will go with other sentences and up to that you will be always careful will be in your house never move to and fro because if you be careful nobody will be able to hamper you but if you be careless you will be easily hampered because always remember personal security is the best security may Allah bless us all thank you everybody Allah bless